um, because this is, yeah, it's a live stream. Um, but yeah, for those who will probably be replaying this, uh, kia ora tato. Um, and just a mihi to all of those who um, have had their whakamoimiti uh, this Sunday. Uh, wherever you had that, hopefully it was um, a good one. Uh, glorifying Iwa uh, on the seventh day, uh, Ratapu. So, like I said in the other other um, video, Hea te take o te portai, can't find my charger, and so this portai is really just to um, resemble how I'm feeling because I can't find my port uh, my charger. So, can't find my charger. Um, so I'm not able to use my phone, so I'm just live streaming this Marmatang in a minute on my laptop. So, kia ora tata, we'll just go straight into it, eh? So, the corridor tonight, uh, just going a little bit deeper on Ngā Koata. Uh, I can see we've got Gaylene here and a few other people that might want to um, feed in as I give this corridor. Um, but basically, on the manual, there's a corridor about uh, the manu are having guns. Um, Ratana said that I, uh, on our manu, there are guns. Basically, what he was talking about, what he was referring to, was uh, his quarter, na uh, quarter e fa. So those who uh, may have heard him or seen the uh, one one of the videos that I put up um, earlier, a couple of days back, uh, spoke of the corridor that he dropped at. Tukuri, 1928, um, at a rugby game, and he pretty much said, Kawawahi toku tenana ki ngā koata e fa. So he's talking about him dividing his body into four quarters. Um, so basically, he was officially announcing his um, commitment or movement, um, committing more time into political affairs. And so that was the Ratana Independent um, Party at that time. Um, and those who were selected by Ratana were, was this one being his son, Hami Tokuru Ratana. Um, the other, Eruera Tirikatene, who came from uh, the South Island. Um, and there was also Praere Paike from the Taitokero and Peter Moko, uh, Peter Moko, who was then uh, succeeded by Tiaki Omana. Um, so these were his four kuata who. We're spearheading the Ratan Independent uh, Party back then. Um, an interesting fact uh, about these four uh, men that Ratana chose, um, majority of them actually were fresh out of World War I. So definitely Hami, Eruera, and Peter Moko, and I think Chaki Omana too. Uh, they spent some time in uh, World War One. Uh, serving the country. I think in the earlier times, Praere Paike, he was a minister for the Methodist Church. Um, but they all kind of moved over to the Ratana faith. Um, and Ratana uh, pretty much used these young men who are fresh out of war as his personal guards and eventually being leaders within the movement. And so these were his four uh, men who kind of went into uh, the political arena. 1931, uh, 1928 was their first stand. Um, from 1928 to 1931, Ratana committed a, um, some strong effort um, into his political uh, party, um, only to kind of be defeated um, in 1931. Later, there was an opportunity. Um, one of the Southern MPs passed away, which forced a snap election. Uh, 1932, which enabled Eruera Tirikatene to get in. So he's the representative for the Omeka Kwata, and he got in in 1932. So um, I guess what we got to understand in 1931, Ratana, after being heavily defeated, uh, he kind of lost his faith, I guess, in, in that avenue of trying to resolve things in terms of re rectifying to Tiriti or Waitangi. And um, I guess working towards realizing mana motihake for our Maori people. But Eruera gets back in and it kind of uh, gets things back on the roll. Um, so later on, Hami Tokuru comes in, Praere Paikea, um, and when 
right and I passed away Tiaki Omana got him uh, which wasn't an easy one because uh, at the time uh, Apirana Nata had held the eastern seat for a very long time and so for uh, Tiaki Omana to um, I guess beat uh, Apirana Nata in the um, eastern seat was actually a huge accomplishment and so it's a testament, I guess, to the power of, or the influence, I guess, or the belief people had in the Ratana movement, the kaupapa that Ratana held back then. Um, and so this is one, I guess, of the many stories within our marmatang, within the movement of uh, Ratana. Um, spiritually, yes, there's been a strong legacy there. And also in physical, political affairs. Um, Ratana was able to be a, a force to be reckoned with. So I guess, yeah, throwing this in, uh, marmatang in a long minute, uh, those who have just kind of tuned in, I've kind of chucked my port eye on just to kind of show how I'm feeling right now. Um, couldn't find my phone charger, so I had to use the laptop. Um, but yeah, other than that Fano, that's all I wanted to share, just a bit of a quarter around Ngā Koa Te Fa and acknowledging that the manual does represent or Ratana did say that on your manual there are guns and he related that to Ngā Koa Te Whā um, and there's a bit of a quarter in terms of who the, the four kuata were and when they entered into parliament um, so yeah and, and remember you know Ratana he was just a humble farmer and all of these um, four kuata they were returned servicemen people who were fresh out of war who probably had no business entering into politics, um, but through the power of this marmatanga, they were able to actually um, champion this space. Um, I can probably go a little bit deeper into some kōrero around Iruera Tirikātene. Um, there's a whole lot of story there, and um, the likes of Reno Tirikātene and other uri of of, of um, Iruera can probably testify to some of the kōrero. Um, Eriwera was actually a really close confidant to Ratana um, and entering into uh, Parliament 1932 this is a story that I've heard and, uh, and, I'll, and I'll put the, I guess um, official comments to, to notify that I, this is um, I don't know if this is documented so you go and find this for yourself but Eriwera Tirikata he was raised in a time where yep you were smacked for speaking your real, so he he was deprived of the luxury of speaking his real. But as he entered into Parliament 1932, uh, Ratana prayed on his behalf for Edward to be blessed with his real, um, and Ratana also prayed for other things uh, to be blessed upon Edward Tirikatine so he could successfully um, and confidently, capably uh, stand as a Maori politician. Um, so that's probably enough for now, but yeah, I mihi tēnei kia koutou mā takitaki ana i tēnei wā, um, ai, ngā manaki tango i hoa ki rungi a tātou katoa, ko te manga i tātou mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. Um, and if, yeah, if you've got any other pātai around uh, all of that political stuff, throw it in there, um, and if there's anything that I can't answer, I'll try and tag a couple of people in here who might be able to, so. Hi, Namanaki Tanga Kirunia Tato Kato, Anga Tatuma, Anakinia.